stack with check with the installed bulldozer. Now type bulldozer in it to initialize the bulldozer spec file. Inside go and edit your title, package name and then the domain you need. This will be the basic editing for all apps. Going forward you can also include the source files you need. You can also include things according to patterns. Here we are going to need all the screens. So I'm going to include everything inside the screens folder. You also need to exclude some files so that your package remains lightweight. For example, the spec files, text files, which aren't actually necessary to run the app. Also, you could specify some other folders which aren't necessary. Here, I'm giving bulldozer and dot bulldozer which is created by bulldozer. If you want to have versioning, you could either choose to have static versioning or version it along with a regex, a regular expression. And when it comes to requirements, use Kiwi 2.0.0. As I said, Kiwi, Kiwi doesn't do good with Python 3.8 and by default, Python 3.8 is used by Bulldozer. So you need to use uh, the Kiwi release candidates and I'm using release candidate 1. Also picking up some other requirements from the requirements file. For example, Kiwi MD, Pillow, etc. That's all may be needed. Along with other options, we can end the code side. Then we have some Android and iOS specific things. In this, first we need to edit the list of permissions because we need to read and write storage. We need permissions to read or write external storage in order to access the storage. Those permissions are read external storage and write external storage. Then we can increase the API to 28 as it said it will be as high as possible. And let's leave the other settings as it is. Then I would like to specify my SDK path here because downloading the whole SDK game will be a lot. You can specify your own SDK path. If you also have uh, the Android NDK of that particular version specified about downloaded, then maybe you can use that path too. We are going to let Bulldozer download the SDK. Then I have set this to act true so that it can accept the license by itself. And there are a ton of other things which you can go through in the spec and the things we require will be enough. To start with configuring the app for Bing, we will first import a 
platform from kiwi.itl. This is specify which platform we are in. So if we are in Android, we can use the auto bundled Android module. From that, we can import request permissions and permissions. And with this, we can request permission to write or read the story as done in Android applications, which need access to write or read from query. I'll be doing it in the main screen on enter. So if our platform is Android, then request permissions and the argument will be list of permissions to be requested. There is also another method to check if, this may, if these permissions are granted or not. You can check the Android documentation for that. And with that, now we will go to send screen. As I mentioned that we need to change the path in order to access files from the file manager. The root may be confusing for many people in Android. So start with import platform again. Then if platform is Android. Set path equal to Storage emulated zero. This is the path for like a home directory in Android device, which is uh, which is directly shown to us in other file managers. So we use this, and the path is automatically set on Android. This. Let's start building it. To build, just type buildozer android debug deploy and finally run. You need to connect your mobile device uh, for the run command to execute successfully. You can also have your android emulator running in the background. So I connected my device with USB debugging on. And if you start it, it will take some time, a lot of time actually, for, uh, depending upon your device and internet connection. As I have pre-downloaded some stuff, it will take a bit less time for me. And speeding it up into 6 times is nearly like 30 seconds for me. Setting up compiler cache is also a good idea. So the app didn't run successfully. To check what was happening with the app, just use ADV. So you can see my device attached here. You can use these options specifically to see what's happening with our Python app. So it says import error cannot import name request permissions from Android. Okay, which means uh, there is nothing called request permissions in Android, but there is in Android.permissions. So let's fix that. Just add from Android.permissions, import request permissions and permissions. The class is permission, not permissions. With this, if you rebuild, you will have your app working.
and with that installed, let's open the app. Let's start one instance of our app in the PC. Click on receive, show the IP. We'll enter it in our mobile app. Choose the file we want to send. I'm just sending random file for my camera. Clicking on it should get the socket connected and should send the file. We have a connected message and also the name of the file. This is my cat. That's it. We have also built it for Android and it's working without any problem. We'll try to improve the UI a bit so that it looks better and is more informational. To continue with this, wait for the next video.